Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about Power BI apps. So how you can create and add the content to the app and how you can manage multiple audiences and publish apps. So as a business users often need multiple Power BI dashboards, reports and other contents to run their businesses. With the Power BI apps, you can create collections of content and publish these collections as an app. What I mean by this is in the app, you can add multiple dashboards and multiple reports. Now you can also share the workspaces with your end users. However, in that case, some of the projects in the workspace which you do not want to have the access to the end user. In that case, you can create the app and share only app and you can manage your projects within the workspace which only your developer group has access. Also, you can share this app with your whole organization or to specific people or the groups. You can create multiple audiences for your app and show or hide different content to each audience. For you as a report creator or admin, apps and audiences make managing permissions on these collections easier. Now the end users can get your app in few different ways, like they can find and install apps from the app marketplace or app source. You can send them a direct link of the app you can install it automatically in your co-workers Power BI accounts if your Power BI administrator gives you a permission. Or if you distribute your app to external users, those users receive an email with a direct link. Power BI does not send any email to internal users when you distribute or update an app. Your app users cannot modify the content of the app. You can also give them a permission to share semantic models and create their own content in the app. Now I'm going to open up Power BI service account. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as I upload the Power BI videos regularly on this channel. So let's get started. Here I am in Power BI service account and I have a workspaces here. If I click on this workspace, you can see that I have two workspace and then my workspace as well in this account. Now I'm going to use this Contoso performance workspace. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see here, I have one report, one semantic model and I have two dashboards. So let's create the app. To create the app, when you open up the workspace, you have this button here, create app. So let's click on that. And now first step is to set up the app. So app name, I'm going to give app name is Contos of Performance app. And I'm going to copy and paste as a description as well. But you can give more detail about the app. My workspace logo is Contoso, so I'm not going to change this. You can change it by uploading new logo. You can also give a theme color to the app. So for me, this color is perfectly fine, but you can choose the color you want. And then the contact information, by default, it shows show app publisher. However, if you wanted to show the contact from the workspace, then you can select this or the show specific individual or group. In that case, you can enter the name or their email addresses here. Let's click on the advanced settings. And here there are a couple of options. I'm going to leave as it is. However, you can choose the option for the navigation pane, like expand navigation pane by default or the collapse navigation pane. Your consumers can have access if you allow them to the hidden content by sliding this. Also, there is a global app settings. So install this app automatically. So if you check this box, then you do not need to provide them a link. It will be automatically install this app into the end user's account. And then you can also allow users to make a copy of the report by checking this box. 
and also if there is any support site where you can give more detail about app content then you can share that link here as well and now let's click on this add content so we are on the second tab about the content and now add content so let's add content and i'm going to use this dashboard then the dashboard and then report as well and let's add so i have all dashboard and report from workspace and now let's add the audience so click on this add audience and now you can double click on this new audience and rename it and let's say i only wanted to share sales live then hide the other two entries by clicking this button What does it mean that the sales department can only view contents of sales live report? Now here on this edit audience section, you can grant access to entire organization, but as our audience name we only wanted to share this with the sales department. In that case you can use a specific user or groups. So if you already have a group, then you can give the group name here like this now let's expand the advance allow people to share the data set in the app in this app audience if you want to allow them click on that allow people to build content with the data set in the app audience so you can allow them by clicking on that now let's create a new audience and rename it by contoso management so Contoso management can have access to the quick insights. So this way you can add up to 25 groups and then you can publish this app. So let's publish this app. Now it provides the link which you can copy and share via email to your users as well. Now let's go to the app. Now you can see we have two dashboards and one report as we published in left pane. And this sales department can only view the Contoso sales live because we hide other two content. And the Contoso management can only see the Contoso quick insights. If you wanted to update an app, then you can go back to the workspace and then you can update the app. It will allow you to change the content or the audiences as well. So guys, this is all about how you can create the Power BI app, add the content to it, create the audiences and publish the app. If you like the content of the video, then please comment, like, share and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.